tiny storyboard thing was a kitten like hitting a jingle bell. And Elisa and I connected to that so much that it became a big theme in that yeah. song. And now there's yeah, plush, there plush kittens. For sale. And now there's toys. It's, it was it was a very important. The evolution of the kitten is funny to me. But you had um, laid out a bunch of traditions or themes or concepts about the holidays. Like for instance, the line in that song about cutting down a tree, uh, like and you know dressing its corpse with candles was. <laughs> Such an I mean, I think the entire song stemmed from that one particular idea that they had pitched to us because the timing of like, <coughs> how, you know, incorporating that into a song of like the rhythm of like you cut down a tree and so that formulated the entire yeah and it's just Olaf kind of taking things very literally and it's yeah. really interesting because traditions are weird. Like, my family does things that we don't even think about it, really. Right. You know, like, we all wear matching pajamas um, on Christmas Eve. Right. Mm-hmm. All of us. <laughs> and it's, well, it's not that weird, but it's, you know, but it's like to an outsider who, like, has never experienced something like that. It would be weird. And so to Olaf, these things are fun and weird and exciting. And so to get to, like, look at all of these people's traditions through his eyes was just the most fun challenge. And it they was an idea had. that they had already had. And yeah. I remember, Stevie, you were saying, like, you were like, the song should be something like, it's got to be like uh, he, all these holiday things that he's heard, like, and he's getting it all wrong, and it's like holly jolly, very happy, you know, and that we just ran with that. And that's why the whole song starts with, like, holly jolly, you know. I mean, then literally it became the lyrics, so. Yeah, I think, you know, just we feel really strongly, I think, as directors and storytellers, we collaborate with the band. We never tend to have all the answers. I think we sort of know, like, okay, we want to go over there, but we may not know exactly how to get there and not be able to fit all. That's the story crews for, and Kate and Lisa, and, and our uh, a screenwriter that we worked with named Jack Schaefer. She was amazing, too. And it was just a great collaborative experience. Yeah. Animation should be. I, I wrote down uh, there's that lyric.